Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Plain Double back again with From 2DI playing as Egypt. In the last episode, we utterly crushed, um, what's that fashion called again? Nudia, I believe. Yeah. Uh, we destroyed him in open field battle. And we're now just, well, essentially just preparing the invasion of Akum. Akum? They have a very poor army in the sense that you feel. Uh, if you, yeah, this is their best unit, and that, it's a general, so that's pretty much bad. Um, I have to do do some signing before the next turn, and that is pretty much it for this episode. Be oh, sorry, not episode. Um, for this, for this turn, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna uh, begin the next turn. Um, there's not much I can talk about because I mostly talk about history at this point. Um, I could talk about the Seleucids, but um, I think I'm just going to talk about the Seleucids after I finish with Akush. And once again, these people want defensive lines, so now I'll say no to you guys. Oh, wait, one second. Um, agreement on aggression pack now. The only person I want to have non-aggression pack is whoever wins up in the north against Lydia or yeah. Um, do I have a navy? And yeah, I do have a navy. Well, actually, no, I do not have. Well, I actually do have a navy. Um, non-aggression pack. A, a cush? No, I'm I'm literally going to invade you. Wait, that. Oh my god, they have another army. Wait, how did they get another army so quick? Or was it... Except... Lack of slaves increase... Okay, no. What is this? Desert winds. Get replenishment. Slowly but surely. This is... Arakos, so now I'm gonna put you guys in 4 or 5 mode. Uh, this is entire... Um... I think I'll declare war on you guys right now. Now obviously I'm not gonna lead the attack because that's called suicide, but I am gonna hunt down some pirates. With my general. Obviously, this is going to be a suicide mission, okay. but I'm still willing to fight the battle because um, the way you deal with pirates is really, really, really simple, um, and that is how I put a uh, good way. I think, I think at least, is the way to deal with pirates is have a ship. Set the point sure. Uh, have a ship literally ram their general, which is this one. So, am I set up for ramming? Yes, I'm set up for ramming. Go. The second we finish with Ram, I think we win against the pirates. Alright, let's stop. Uh, sword followers. And you're gonna die. Come on, come on, don't get rammed. And there goes another one. Now we have to run. Now we're gonna die. Well, it's a decisive defeat, but at least like, oh, yeah, that's actually pretty worth it. They deployed, they lost 200. Yeah, it's, it's not a good trade, but I did kill two of their massive ships. Um, with dealing with the Kush, I think I just, I fortified one of my armies, and that is going to be very, very, very good. Because now what I'm going to do next is wait for them to attack you. Faction destroy pirates, so go and kill their general. And that is how we win. Humble death, yay, yay, yay. Yay, yay, you're dead. That's pretty dang happy. Uh, you guys have zero, which is totally 100% fine. Um, 
five plus one to forty. No, I do not want to give you anything because you guys are going to be the problem eventually. Um, yeah, sure. Let's end the turn and see what they do. They their army is pretty bad, but um, even a bad army can do damage to my army at this rate because I'm not getting any supplies, and what supplies I am getting is very hard to come by. So let's start the next turn. I really do hope that you attack me. Um, so talking about the Seleucids, um, the War of the Seleucids is going to be very interesting in the sense that um, I'm going to definitely have a can replenish my armies, but I need a I need supply lines, and I'll tell you more about supply lines later on, but I just have to deal with these people first. Um, I think I can start my history lessons about the Seleucids. So, naturally, the Seleucids are a way, at the beginning, are a way larger empire than um, Egypt at the beginning. But later, their landmass will become the same, and are you so... And I think that... Oh, and the founder of the Seleucid Empire, um, the founder of the Seleucid Empire was by a dude named Seleucus, and I am not sure what position he served during Alexander's campaign. I just know that he was a very good general. Um, how do I know that? Because uh, for what I'm going to talk about, he was going to be a pretty dang good general. Um, off the bat, we could see that um, Seleucus himself. Was a great general um, during the war. The Diadochi, um, his opponent Antiochus, and his son Demetrius, will literally go to war with him multiple times. And I have no idea where they are coming from. All right. Uh, should I do this? No, I, I don't think I should. Actually. All right. Um, there's no deployables I can deploy, so that's that's not the point anyway. Nice stone pipe wall. Okay. What did I just say about deploying yourselves in pipe wall? My three best units in the front lines, please. The reinforcements arrive. Hooray! Ah, uh, this is getting kind of. All right, where am I? Oh my God! Oh, that's the enemy reinforcement army. Great. Um. All right, this is getting a little bit confusing. You, 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 but you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, this army is the army of my archers. So pull you guys here. Where's the second army I have? It's right right behind these guys. <laughs> They're screwed. Um, in the sense that, um, yeah. yeah. In the sense that they're, they're already surrounded. From the front and from the back. Um, okay, you guys. Um, these guys are going to attack me from my back, so. Gotta watch out, gotta watch out. Um, do this. And do I have any other punch shot cavalry? Pull these guys out. And yeah, they're firing. Which is not a bad idea for them. Um, this entire army is the army that will see action for most of its time. Uh These are the only cavalry units I have on my command. Plus the general. And I'm gonna send them out. Okay, good. Charge. Ah, uh, actually, there's no, no one I can charge. Alright, arrow towers, which is great. Uh, these are javelin units, so I have to be careful what I do. Should I? No, it's not. Not, not as of right now. 
Um, all right, we have a general right here in the sense of move him here. Actually, no, move him, move him here. Actually, no, 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 that's an even more terrible idea. What is this? We're gonna look shot cavalry. Pull back, pull back, not the general, just not the general. Anyone but the general should attack. Alright. Drop pikes, drop pikes. It's a little bit too late, but hey, we can manage. Alright. With the arrow towers, I believe we should be able to win. Okay, your melee cavalry sucks. My unit's here. Wait, if I... Okay. There's a pretty big risk. Well, I can't uh, effectively run them down. Now, more elephants are just gonna set up. And that's it. You guys, I am not gonna order you guys to charge. But I am, yeah. These guys are getting destroyed. Inspire for now. Uh, yeah, these guys are open in the clear. Alright. Where should I charge? And it's getting real laggy. Alright. Can shot infantry. Yeah, these war elephants are very terrifying. Uh, where? Where, where, where? Which one? This one? Yeah, I expected that. Can they see me? Yes, they can see my unit. Oh god. Uh, just in case, I'll move another two pikemen units here. I don't really need that many units off the bat. Yeah, let's... I have a feeling that they might also be coming this way, so... And... World how many have you killed at 180? Pull, pull out, pull, pull out, pull out. Okay, turn. Um, this is Ptolemy, isn't it? It is Ptolemy the second, great. This is the exact reason why I. Oh, this is a mound? <laughs> this is the exact reason why I hesitated before I charged in my drone. And the reason is simply because I fear that he can, if if I do not execute my charge perfectly, I'll be shot to pieces by these archers. Now, looking back, uh, it's not that bad. Now, just have to make sure I do not leave my general in action too long. Alright, um, Ptolemy and Calvary just keep charging. Um, you have not lost a single person. This unit of Sacred Squadron is pretty impressive. Now keep charging. None of these have archers, so I'm fine. In theory, at least. Alright, how many have you killed? 200. These Ethiopian axe warriors are creeping crazy. Not in the sense that they can kill a lot of people, but they have high armor piercing damage. Oh god. Armor piercing damage and have your cavalry get the hell out of here. Um, come on. Get out. Alright, have we destroyed the hell? Have we destroyed all of them? Oh no, these guys are... Get out, get out, get out, just get out. Um, you drop pikes. You, I'll tell you to drop pikes, but later. Get out, um, you guys are barely... I really should make the elephants their own attachment. And of which 
Yeah, no offense, you are there, you're on the force now. Alright, and speaking of the elephants... Um... Two of your pikes, go here. Just to maintain the peace. Well, not maintain the peace, just to hold the line. The rest of the pikemen, yeah, I don't think this, this, these, that, that sector needs pikes. What is really killing our units are these arrow towers, which are ter terrifying and insane. Not only do they fire fire arrows, but they also make a big deal. Alright, um, this army hasn't even been seen in action, but let's look at our Gala Gallic Shell Warriors. Like I said in the last episode, these Gallics are originally uh, migrated from um, from a long, pla long place away. And then they just like just come, come and stay. <laughs> I don't know what to really say. Did I drop? Wait, did I? Or did... Oh, let me see. Oh no! I oh god! Drop phalanx! Come on! They're gonna drop phalanx. It's very hard for them. Uh, war elephants, come here! Come here! Uh, Calvary, I think I'll just allow you guys to uh, allow you guys to flank around, and then the second year guys are ready, I'll charge. Now this is the time in which we play the fast forward button. Pike wall. I'm just at this point stacking units. Uh, these units. Charge! Eventually these guys are gonna be charging... Yeah, oh, okay. Right, charge, charge, charge. Scare the archers away because these archers can actually do damage. <laughs> not like, not a lot, but like, over time they will. Like, these three go. Ah, these war elephants are finally in range. Uh, just to get your 100, 1, 598, and this 50. Three. All right, all the, all the um, what do you call them? Archers are running. Slow, slow, slow. Why am I not asking them to charge? Because you must be pretty tired. Um, actually no, just go charge. <sighs> These massive war elephants. And... That's a lot of death. Alright, instant breakage wall. Well, for most. Let's look at this part. And that's uh, also another break. Okay, elephants get out. And then cycle charge. Well, it's definitely turning in our favor. You. So double click, for those that do not know, double clicking allows you, for, allows the pikes to, well, I'm really wish. okay, actually no, I do need to kill them. Double clicking allows your pikes to literally, uh, kill them as fast as you can, which it also is, a, it, it also, um, it also translates to, um, well, no, 
else? What else do I need to kill? Yeah, you people. Also translates to like a uh, push and attack. Elephants once again trample the large numbers. Or I can also do these people, but it's fine. Um, yeah, continue the chase. Yep. Just to make sure you guys are running. Yeah, this is a uh, once again a decisive victory on my side. Like, let me see my elephants as a matter of fact. These are silver chevron now. <laughs> Running around on top of an elephant. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, Well, that is a lot of people just running away from us. <laughs> now that you mentioned it. Oh, I forgot to tell everyone I still have this army, uh, this small force not having the deploy onto the battlefield. Um, at that point, I just want to save lives. Uh, keep charging this unit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Send these units here. Yeah, there's a lot of units that are running this way for some reason. I do not blame them, just trying to get out of my way. Just trying to like, no, let's get out of, let's get, let's, let's uh, I know we've lost, but like, let's just try to, try to stay alive. Okay, um, one general, and this is a lead general. Who is this? This is my pal goes. Mm -hmm. You've literally killed. All right, go go go. How many? Twenty-seven. So these these guys are gonna die. Uh, what I mean by dying, I mean by dying in the sense of in the sense of after the battle won, they're just gonna be deleted as, as a unit, not now, not completely dead. Oh god, yeah, there's a lot of troops. Oh no. To run down. 100. Yeah. Alright. Um, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to just have him chase down this unit. Now in charge. Kill as many as you can before they leave. I'm really, I'm really interested to see the number of kills. I'm getting on these units. Ah, uh, one unit. Chase this unit. Alright, this is an entire route for the enemy forces. But, um, I think we're... They're, they're pretty much all dead. Quick battle. And a heroic victory, indeed, because it's a heroic defensive victory. Ah, uh, I just realized I haven't killed a lot of them at all. Deployed 5,000, lost 71, which is impressive. Deployed... How many? 7,870, they lost 5,600. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, for those that are wondering, yes, towers do kill friendly units. Do I need the money, or do I need the slaves, or do I need the captives? This entire unit is destroyed, uh, entire army is destroyed. Wolf, wolf. I think I'll do slaves, because my con can handle it. My, sorry, my public order can handle it. Alright. Well, you guys just lost an entire army. Well, essentially, almost an entire army. Increase in ring apagos, increase in everyone. Minus 10 loyalty. Okay, you. I'm gonna send you to the Seleucids. Uh, roads. Seleucids, minus 46. What is this, Sarissa's? You. I'm not gonna use you as a general. 
I want you, I also want you to die. You are you are a good general. Um what do I want? Plus a campaign moving range. Wait, who are you again? Kind of goes so is one of my uh, do that. And do this. This is already plus 10 to punishment. Uh, public order. I, I need morale for my units. And I need scare for the enemy units. Yeah. Allows my armies to break armies, enemy armies faster. Do this, do this, and do this. 91, 91, 91. 91% 91 remaining chance, that's gonna be 91% remaining armies. Well, not armies, units. Kill, release, captive, 12. Uh, continue. For those that are wondering, yeah, um, you do take attrition when you besiege. It's a new thing in but, DI. Um, you guys, I think I'll just be moving you guys to this the good border because there's no need for spies here anymore. Uh, come back here. This path block, no. Well. Auto resolve 84, 82, 84. Aggressive. Oh god. Okay, this unit is useless because it's not Tarantine Calvary. Once again, <laughs> this guy has just been. Boom. Cannot do that, but I will get morale for my own troops. All right, and with that, Ethiopia has been completely conquered. Now here comes the boring task once again of moving my troops to the north to invade the Seleucids. Once again, a very boring task indeed. As a matter of fact, you guys, I'm going to disband because I'm um, I'm going to return you guys to the Seleucid. Territory. I'm just gonna recruit, 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 um, and the whole new army. Tylos, and once again, move this army also into Tylos. Oh, leveled up. Charge bonus for all units plus twelve campaign range, plus five. Okay, so we're gonna be stacking campaign movement range in this army, and that is pretty much for this turn. Any other interesting stuff? Okay. Uh, to a certain extent, I do not care if it's boy or girl, my heirs. My, well, not my heirs, my children. Um, but anyway. Yeah, anyway, it's fine. It should be fine. Let's end the turn. And we have direct access to gold, which is impressive. Now I can finally start talking about this history of the Seleucids, but looking at the time, we are 29 minutes into the video, uh, into uh, the recording. So, well, not the recording, it's a let's play. So I think I'll just talk about it next, um, next, next game, next, in the next episode. Sorry guys, I'm, um, I've been stirring on my words way too often. All right. Um, Promote towards higher responsibility with a generous tribute. 
Alright, you guys, I want you guys to be losing power. Uh, send as a diplomat to, once again, the Slugids. Because, like, once again, diplomats can give- oh. Oh, wow. Well, guess I don't need- I don't need no anymore people in here. I think I'll just be moving my armies. Everyone north. Yep, so have a great day. Um, <laughs> We're not going to be stuck in Ethiopia again. Talos. Do I need a navy in the north? No, of course I do not need a navy. Um, expand. Move, keep moving. Uh, I cannot do any more war elephants. Nope, no more war elephants. So, all right, that's pretty interesting. Um, that that is pretty. That is. We're a little bit over time, so that's pretty much it for this episode. I'll see you the next one, and the next one we're just going to be talking about the history of the Seleucid dynasty itself. So yeah, have a great day, I'll see you in the next one, and bye.